the Solomon Islands, deep in the South Pacific. An ancient land ripped apart by war. Two mighty nations, Japan and America, fight for control of these tiny spits of land. Into this fiery cauldron comes a privileged young man from Harvard. A young man unprepared for the horrors of war. In this savage arena, he would be tested to the limits of his endurance. No one could possibly anticipate the, uh, the tragedy and the sense of loss that uh, the, these uh, men and women uh, experienced. And it was here that he would experience every naval officer's nightmare, the sinking of his boat. Now, some 60 years later, explorer Bob Ballard, the man who found the Titanic, has come here to pull back the veil of history. This was where he was made into a man. He came into this still a boy, and he left the man. For somewhere in these seas is the boat, the story, and the legacy that propelled that young man to become president of the United States. The young man was John F. Kennedy. The boat, PT-109. This is the research vessel Grey Scout. It's on assignment for National Geographic. Hundreds of miles northeast of their home port in Gladstone, Australia, it's steaming through the Coral Sea. A converted supply vessel, it's rigged for underwater exploration. It carries two remote-controlled video robots, side-scanning sonar, and a crew of dedicated technicians. We want just enough so it's not too fast, but enough so that the vehicle's gonna want to drift out. It looks like we'll get up in the black and straight early, like seven in the morning or so. Yeah. They're on their way to the site of some of the most savage naval battles of World War II. The Solomons. An isolated chain of volcanic islands that stretches for nearly a thousand miles across the South Pacific. Here, the Grey Scout will rendezvous with the man who found the Titanic, the Bismarck, and who combed the Black Sea for evidence of Noah's flood, Dr. Robert Ballard. This time, Ballard is after a much smaller prize, but a prize that's no less significant, John F. Kennedy's PT-109. There's so many incredible stories about human struggle and human events, and certainly for President Kennedy, the young man at that time, this was when he became a man. I wanted to come to this spot. I wanted to use this expedition as a way of telling that story.